Hey, what's up? Jeremy here. I wrote a poem. It's called Caravan. Give it a listen. Let me know what you think. About 200 years ago, when two strangers met, crossing through my hunting field, a warning he did get. I aimed aside on purpose and gave the man a glare. He and I don't look alike. What's he doing here? I say, our land and caribou are not for you to take. I mean no harm, the man replied. War I will not make. I bring a gift from me to you in hopes you'll understand. I did not wish to leave my home and travel to your land. Our homes were burned, our women raped by evils known to men. But I bring our ancient fortitude. I'll give you everything I can. May I stay for just one night. Tomorrow I will labor and demonstrate my people's will so I may earn your favor. I said, of course, my brother, what happened is not right. You seek to work and to provide. I see we are alike. Tomorrow when we wake up, I'll let you prove trustworthy. Tonight come in and eat your fill. Let hot food ease your worry. My friend did wake and get to work before the break of dawn and brought back a three-day load to show me he was strong. Efficient and reliable is something you don't lack. Bring us this consistently. We'll never send you back. The man explained, I have a tribe. It's a lot of mouths to feed. I say if we join forces, both tribes can succeed. You'll help us both to prosper when you help us work our land. There's plenty room for both our tribes, so get your caravan. He bowed his head in gratitude and thanked me for my favor. I said, stay safe and see you soon to my new and welcomed neighbor. It took six months, but there he was, walking back with his tribe, toward me through the heat and brush, thankful to be alive. We only lost a dozen on our journey back this way. It would have been a hundred more if we'd been made to stay. We got to work, we made a plan to build a strong foundation, justice and equality, and freedom for our nation. We built a thriving culture filled with song and dance. We worked and fought and played together. We stood a fighting chance. Then one day, a devil came dressed in orange and gold. His smooth lips played the fear card, whole truths never told. They'll take away your jobs, he said, and kill your children daily. The caravan's your enemy. They're criminals. They're lazy. Don't trust a politician king who doesn't tell it true, who makes up lies and stories to scare both me and you. Calling neighbors enemies is a recipe for destruction, but he don't care. He'll never stop. It helps him win elections. And just like that, the culture cracked and made space for his power. But instead of peace, prosperity, it was the darkest hour. Our nation fell apart those years as we all lost our focus. The orange king and his followers destroyed our crops like locusts. And now as anger burns our homes and everyone's divided, we look back on the caravan and when we were united. What made us strong is wisdom, to aim aside on purpose, to ask good questions, lend a hand, and lean into your courage. If we don't learn our lessons like our ancestors of late, a thousand mile trail of tears may be our family's fate. If it's between hardworking folks and a lying orange-faced man, I've walked the miles in their shoes. I'll take the caravan. If this poem resonated with you, I need your help. We're pulling together a fundraising drive to help unite Americans and immigrants. We're sending shirts and supplies down to Texas and California. We're partnering with organizations that help refugees and immigrants become well-adjusted and integral parts of our communities, not tax burdens like our politicians like to make them out to be. There is an infrastructure in place that really makes a difference, but it's not going to happen without good people like you getting involved now. And if you chip in a buck or 50 or a thousand, anyone who donates and supports this fundraiser will be put on an action list. So when there's something helpful you can do, like call a congressperson or give feedback on upcoming legislation to fix the root causes of our immigration issues, you'll know about it. We'll send you the information about how to shine your light and to be an ally in your community. Please visit mapletwig.com slash caravan or click the link above or below or to the side and get involved today. We're counting on you. And the orange-faced men and lobby groups in Washington are counting on you to do nothing. Don't believe the lies. Your support makes a huge difference today, next month, next year, next decade, next century, for eternity. What you believe in, what you stand up for, and what you do really does matter. You matter. Thanks for being here, and thanks for doing love. Talk soon. Also, share this. Advertising is really expensive. Thanks for being here.